In its short lifetime, the Sydney Opera House has earned a reputation as a world-class performing arts center and has become a true symbol of Sydney and the Australian nation. The Sydney Opera House is a beautiful structure known throughout the world. Alex is our tour guide today. Hello. I've always wanted to come here. The Sydney Opera House, it was officially opened by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in October of 1973. And in that time, the Sydney Opera House has become one of the most visited sites in Australia. The Sydney Opera House has a global recognition factor of around 4 billion people. Wow. That equates to roughly two out of every three people on the face of the earth, they recognise the iconic shape of the Sydney Opera House. It's amazing, people get truly overwhelmed walking through this space. I bet especially architects. Architects, they take an architects around, they just want to come and sit here and go, oh, <laughs> baby. Okay, so obviously we got concrete on the inside, but Indeed. on the outside is not. Well, the whole roof is covered in ceramic roof tiles from Sweden. There is 1,056,006 individual roof tiles that cover the whole Sydney Opera House. Now, instead of climbing up and individually placing each tile, one after the other, up to 1,056,006, they tiled each one of those panels or lids down on the ground. Then they used a big crane, picked up each individual panel section and locked it into position. What's, what's the message to our viewers? I mean, obviously it's a beautiful structure, but why should people come to the Sydney Opera House? I thought the Sydney Opera House was just for opera and just for classical music. But coming to the Sydney Opera House, it's places to eat, great views all the way around and inside, but it's not just opera that they do here. It's rock concerts, films, talk, avant-garde theater, cabaret, burlesque, rock shows, a little bit of something for everyone. Well, you've been an awesome tour guide. Thank, Thank you, Alex. Pleasure Thank to you. meet you. Thank you.